Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest tonight is a Tony Award winning actor you know from The Godfather Part 3, Joan of Arcadia, and his 13 seasons on Criminal Minds. Please welcome to The Late Show, Joe Mantegna. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've wanted to meet you for many years. I've wanted to meet you for many years. Well, many months. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I've been known about you many years. I was, uh, I was a young actor in, in Chicago when you first uh, became, you know, a, a sensation in, in acting. And, and I uh, lived there for 11 years. And since we both live in Chicago, I am required to ask you some questions. Okay. Are you ready for I'm it? I'm ready for it. Cubs or Sox? Cubs. Okay. F one other Sox fan. Okay, yes, okay. <laughs> One. Though, though we had a restaurant for, for many years. My wife had a restaurant in Burbank, California. Oh, yeah? It was called Taste Chicago. We closed it recently. But when, so when you have a restaurant called Taste Chicago, you kind of have to support everybody. And I got to, and I knew, I knew Robin Ventura. I knew a few of the Sox players. So I, I, I embraced the Sox somewhat, but okay. Cubs, it's got to be Cubs. Okay, well, speaking of tasting Chicago, favorite deep dish? Actually, I prefer a, a, a New York slice, to tell you New York slice? <laughs> No, less, of course. You're less likely I to could fall never, in and drown. Yes, I could never go back to Chicago. No, but really, I, I love deep dish too. But actually, I prefer I prefer. It's, it's, it's How do you like, take your hot dog? Chicago and take their hot dogs very seriously. Well, you gotta you, you gotta get the whole deal. You gotta get this poppy seed bun. You yeah. gotta get the uh, all beef. Uh, all, we get the Vienna beef. Yeah. You got your mustard. You got your pickle. You got your tomato wedges. You got your tomato wedges. You got your sport peppers. Yeah. And then. In terms of the relish, you have your choice. Like at, at the restaurant, we would have the regular relish, and yes. then we had the neon relish, the one right. that looks like it's been the Chernobyl. Exactly. You know, it was like. <laughs> exactly. You had to put on goggles just yeah, to dish it exactly. out. Yeah, exactly. Because when I grew up, they didn't have the, 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 the radioactive uh, type right. of relish. But so, so we'd had both. And so that, that way people could look at it and say, yeah, all right, I'll take the day glow one or not. You know? Yes. And a little celery salt on well, top. A little celery salt. There you go. Course. Okay. You've been acting for 51 years. Your, yes. pro first, your first professional role. Is this your first professional? That is. First professional role was in Hair in 1969. Yes. That, uh, was your family supportive of acting? Did they know? I, you did know, they understand? I, I, no, they, I don't know quite think they understood, to tell you the truth. For, like, in terms of Hair, I remember when my mother came and saw the show, the other members of the cast, this was like 1969. Yeah. And there was a nude scene in the show. It's not yeah. much, but, it's, but still, 1969 sure, sure. was a big deal. And, and so my mother came and saw the show. There, all the rest of the cast would say, your mother's coming? Boy, you're really letting your, your mother's going to see the show. And she comes backstage and after the show, and, and I go, how'd you like the show, Ma? And her first comment was, uh, oh, you were great, and you've you got a nice body. Some of these kids are out of shape, but you look pretty good, you know? <laughs> and then later, now, jump cut later. Now, my mother lived to be 101 years old. Wow. She did. God bless her. Wow. Yeah. Now, she passed away a couple of years ago, and, and at, at her funeral, my brother, who's eight years older than I am, g gave the first eulogy kind of for, for her, got up to spook. And he, and he said this, he says, he says I, I want my brother to know this because I don't think he knows this. And, and um, when, when Joe kind of segued from doing theater and movies and, and got this TV series that he's been on for quite a while, uh, she, she called me and she says, Ronnie, I'm worried about Joey. And my, my brother says, what do you mean? She goes, he's only working an hour a week. <laughs> and she was dead serious. And my brother had to kind of alleviate her fears that it's OK. He's doing fine. That, that hour is, is, is pretty good. Yes. So I'm, I'm, I'm not well. quite sure my mother quite understood you know, show business and, and what I did for a living. But it's, actually, it's good. I think it grounded me and helped me be a little more realistic about what this business is. Did she get a chance to see you play Ricky Roma and Glengarry Glenn Ross? She did. Yeah. She, thank you. Did you win the Tony for that? I did. I won the Tony for that, and it was kind of funny. I, I, call, I had to call her to tell her, well, I say, watch the show tonight, because there's a chance I may go up and get this thing. You know? <laughs> and she didn't know what it was. And so, of course, when, when it all happened, she was telling all her friends, Joey won the Oscar, but for the plays. <laughs> And then when That's I told her, I says, well, Ma, afterwards, I says, well, I won the Tony Award. I thought, well, Mom, why don't I fly you in to come see the play here on Broadway? And she said, uh, well, will you be doing it in Chicago? And I said, well, eventually, I think we will. We'll probably tour it and come to Chicago. She goes, well, I'll wait and see it with your Aunt Lolly, and we'll come and see it there, you know. <laughs> 
And it made perfect sense to her, like, sure, you know, her and her sister Lolly uh, should come. Yeah. And this, you know, why fly all the way to New York? But, uh... You're in the 15th and final season of Criminal Minds. Right. Okay? Right. You've been on the show since season three. Right. 13 seasons of Criminal Minds. What's it going to be like, or are you prepared to leave your character, David Rossi, behind? You know, it's, it's been a great run. And, I mean, you, 13 years on anything, I mean, is a blessing in this business. And so, I mean, you go into these things. Like, the day before I got the call to come and do the show, I didn't know I was going to be... You know, you, you, you get this job and you think, oh, maybe I'll do this for the next couple of years and it'll sure, be sure. fun, you know. But uh, it, it was a wonderful group, the cast, the crew, everybody involved. It was, it was a blessing. We, the, the, the cast, we still text each other almost every day. There's, like, a text thread that we do. Mm -hmm. And and so... Uh, yeah, it's it's hard to put it away, but yet on the other hand, you know, no, nothing goes on forever, and so you try to be realistic about it and move on. And I'm just feel blessed that I did it as long as I did. Can you justify this for me? Yeah. Because we both work at CBS, right? And I think you have different censorship rules on your show than we have on ours, because we can't even show like a picture of Michelangelo's David. Literally, we were yeah. told we could not show a picture of Michelangelo's David up close ever. You know down here, yeah, and even if we was a long shot, only for two seconds, right. okay? Right. On your show, they s stack up dead oh, yeah. hookers like oh, cordwood. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why do you get away with the blood and the gore, I, I, and I, I can't say the word <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I know it always. It, well, and often would be asked, doesn't it like bother you? Isn't it like to be on a show that's that creepy? And I said, and I say, absolutely not. I says because you know, here's a guy laying there. He's got an arrow in his chest, an axe through his head, and like a bowling ball in his mouth. And 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 then they say, cut. Now that same person gets up, walks over to the table, <laughs> has a sandwich. You know, looks at me, says, hey Joe, can you you, know, you tell me where I can get a coke or something? you know? I mean, and so. I, I, that's that's and, and the thing is, there are, there are real men and women who do that work. I have such respect for them. The real members are not just FBI, but the people in the military, people in law enforcement. Well, I thought you meant the real men and women who pretend to be dead bodies. Oh, pretend to be dead bodies. <laughs> yeah, I have. Thank some, you for your service. I have dead, some respect for them. Dead I have bodies. some respect for them. But no, but my point being that there are these there are people who really do those jobs. Those yeah. are the ones that you got to work. In terms of your censorship thing, you know, that's on you. That's your problem. I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't help you with that one. Joe, Steve. good to see you. Thank my you. So much for coming on. <laughs> Criminal Minds airs Wednesdays at 9 on CBS. Joe Mantegna, everybody. We'll be right back.